Because it cooked longer. The dumpling. Mm. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're just gonna be doing a little like around the house vlog. We're gonna get um, some family Christmas pictures done this morning, and um, I'm gonna make some chicken and dumplings this morning in the crock pot. So I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm also gonna give you guys a little life update and everything. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I bought this little outfit for her at Target. It says cookies for Santa, milk for me. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. You say hi. Say hi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> you see it? Mm -hmm. So I'm just starting to make the um, chicken and dumplings that I'm going to start for tonight in the crock pot. So I have this pack of chicken. I have two of these um, chicken broths. I also have some carrots that I'm going to cut up, some celery, um, some onion, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then some of this um, chicken chicken bouillon stuff um it just makes the like chicken it makes the chicken like flavoring stand out more um so i'm gonna add that and then also at the end when everything is almost done when i add the dumplings i'm also gonna add some frozen peas so i'm gonna go ahead put all that chop all that up put that in the crock pot and let that start cooking on low since it is almost eight o'clock in the morning it's gonna be cooking basically all day so we can cook it on low because we don't have a short time frame that we have to cook it in show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way i can see the road ahead of me so that's all done now i'm just gonna let that cook on low for i don't even know how many hours i'm just gonna keep checking it i'll look um like online how long it takes um how long it takes for like chicken to cook on low in a crock pot and then by then i'll probably take it out shred the chicken and then let it still like cook and then i don't know i'm thinking by like four o'clock or something I can start um so I like to make it thick so right now I just add all that and then like when it's almost like a couple hours towards being done I'll add milk and um some like flour or something just kind of like thicken it up and then I'll make the um biscuits for the dumplings and then I'll add that like 30 minutes or something before it's done and then i'll add the frozen peas as well so we're gonna let that cook all day um, i'm gonna go ahead and feed Stella breakfast now i'm gonna make her some oatmeal which she's been loving and probably get her some fruit too i won't be stumbling in the dark your eyes are shining like the stars i was down until you saved me until you saved oatmeal, me i warm up hot water and then I pour it in here just to like make it thick enough. I like to make it thick because she likes to feed herself and then she'll just like take the spoon and like fling it and if it's thick enough it won't fall off. Um, and then I cool it down with some of her milk. So I have that in here. It's gonna thicken up right now. She's eating a banana. Um, it's still a little like not thick enough but with the bananas a trick to make it so it's not like super like slippery because if you like slice bananas or whatever they're like so slippery and they just like fall out of their hands but bananas have like you can like they like break into thirds in the middle so i cut them like this and just break them apart and they're not slippery at all and you just give them to them like that she needs more 
she sees it. I usually don't give her these for breakfast, but I'm just gonna give her one. They're just water. It has no sugar, or sweeteners, or juice, or anything. It's just flavored water. So I love giving her these. It gives her a little like, oh, I'm getting juice, but you're really not. It's a fun way for water for her. It literally has no sugar or anything. It's just water with um, flavorings. Literally just says ingredients, purified water, and natural flavors. So I don't feel bad at all about giving these to her. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know it. Didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see I just made myself some breakfast. I made an egg and cheese um, sandwich. It's really slippery. Um, I put that everything but the bagel seasoning on it. Oh my gosh. This stuff is so good. I recently got it at Trader Joe's. Um, and I eat eggs every morning instead of making an egg sandwich instead of scrambled eggs. Hello, do you want some? It's hot. I just want to sit down and talk to you guys for a second because we have like some major life updates I wanted to give you guys. Um, so we have been in, uh, talking about moving for a while. Like we need a bigger house. This house is too small for us now. We like outgrew it so fast. It's um, three bedrooms, two, two and a half bathrooms um, and yeah it's just <laughs> outgrowing us so fast like we have no room to put anything anywhere like storage wise um cause, like we don't have a basement or anything dylan bought a shed like almost two years ago and i mean that's obviously helped because we could put all of our like christmas stuff in there and like summer like toys and like lawn stuff and whatnot in there but it's just still, we're just still outgrowing it so fast and we just needed a bigger space. Plus we want to have another uh, baby like after our like wedding, like ceremony in May. Cause we're already married, but we got like, we got married last December, so almost a year ago. And it was just like a small thing. So we're going to have like a big like wedding in May. And after that, we want to have another baby and there's just no room in here to do that. So... We also want to have a place for the kids to like play and like their own space and everything and it's just way too like cluttered and just the walls are just basically caving in we just have so much stuff so anyways so we've been looking talking about buying a house that we have it we like would book but we would never like really do anything because we weren't really like ready yet um and while dylan was deployed we were like looking a lot and when he came back, we found this like lot that we liked a lot. And then like a builder was already gonna build a house on it that we really liked. And everything has just been moving so fast. So basically, we basically signed a contract for that like a week ago almost. What's today? Saturday, yeah. So almost a week ago we signed the contract. We put some money down and um, we're putting our house on the market the day before Thanksgiving and the photographer is coming the photographer is coming to take pictures of the house on Tuesday um, right now it is Saturday so it's just been crazy like just getting everything out of the house that like makes it look cluttered like we have to like stage the house we have to get the house ready for like pictures we have to like pack so much stuff so we went and bought a storage unit and We've just been go, 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 go since he got back from deployment and it's just been 
so busy but i'm so glad that things are moving fast even though it's stressful but um hopefully we'll be in the house by like next summer spring probably close to our wedding which is just crazy but yeah so if you see like boxes around the house or just like clutter it's like stuff that i need to pack and put away and <sighs> yeah it's been stressful but we are so happy and so thankful that we found this house that we really like and the land it's like we have no neighbors which we really like it's just secluded and we have our own space and we have our yard for like the kids to run around oh and like yard and area for the kids to run around it's on like over two acres and we have a basement it's i think four bedrooms um two and a half bathrooms unfinished basement which we'll probably like finish eventually but right now we don't need to and it's just an overall like bigger space and everything there's a like uh it's called like a flex room so we're gonna use that as the like playroom downstairs and then upstairs when you walk up the stairs there's like a loft so we can use that as like a like hangout like sitting area for the kids like when they get older so yeah so we're really excited about that and i just wanted to let you guys know and yeah so i will be like vlogging that and taking you guys out when we get stuff done so it'll be so exciting i'm so excited for that to be done and i cannot wait to show you guys along the way so i am going to start curling my hair for this um these photos we have this morning i just threw on one of dylan's shirts real quick because i was wearing a hoodie and this bathroom is small, so it gets a lot of the, um, and we keep it shut because of Stella, so it gets a lot of the heat in here, so it's really warm already, and I was wearing a hoodie, and I was like, um, I'm gonna die if I keep that on and curl my hair. So, I just use a wand, and yeah, I don't know how to use a curling iron. So, I got a lot of hair. I usually take, like, bigger sections so that way this i have like so much hair but this usually only takes me like maybe like 20 minutes to do which isn't bad and hopefully it'll look okay because i'm not like the greatest at curling my hair I don't know. It's what I have. I honestly would use it to like, um, like, I'm not a big, I usually don't curl my hair a lot, but it actually, I realized that it doesn't take me as long as like it used to. So I was really just using this when I would like pull my hair back at work and then just like slick it back. But now I have something, so that's what it looks like right now. Um, the top of my hair actually doesn't look that bad. Usually it's like, sometimes it'll be like kind of frizzy, but since I did my hair yesterday, it's kind of like flattened out and not as my flyways. It's really good. I'm thankful about that. So now I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to go show you guys my outfits because I really don't know which one I'm going to choose. It's like 30 degrees out right now, but I have a skirt um, that I was thinking about wearing with a sweater or jeans and the sweater shoes outside, so I don't know, I don't know. 
Okay guys, so this is the first outfit. Um, I don't know if you can see my boots, but I like this. Like I'm looking, I'm kind of going for the like more like dressier look. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like this one. But the thing is, the skirt is blue. But I think it like I think it's fine, honestly. Let me go show you what Cell is wearing. Dark blue skirt, dark green sweater, and then I'm wearing brown boots, which, I don't know, I think I like this a lot. Um, and then Sela's gonna wear this little red onesie with this little jumper over it, and a pair of black tights, and black shoes, and then she's gonna wear dark green bow, like pinning her hair back. And then for Dylan, he has this um, like black and gray plaid like hoodies shirt thing with a pair of dark dark blue jeans. Um, I think I'm gonna wear this. I don't even want to try the jeans on. I think this is what we're gonna wear. Getting lunch with the fam. So well. Why? <laughs> <laughs> So we just left Panera. We got Panera to eat for lunch after the pictures. Um, and we're headed back home. Dylan, so we didn't drive together because, or wait, we did drive there together. I forgot. We drove to the pictures together and then I dropped Dylan off at his um, car because he had to pick up his police car like last week to go back to work. So he drove his car there. Um, so his, his Jeep has been sitting like at work for a couple days. So after the pictures, I dropped him off, um, to get his Jeep. And then we drove over to Panera to get lunch together. And then he is heading to, I think Home Depot, no Lowe's, I think to get paint. Cause, um, that's another thing we're working on. We have to paint like so much stuff because we patched like a lot of holes um, and then we just have to like paint it to like obviously like match it or whatever but <sighs> it's been a struggle. I'm going back home. My mom's gonna come over to help me start like packing some more stuff. I'm hoping to get like everything like packed and like decluttered for the photographer on Tuesday. Okay guys, we just got home. I'm just um, shredding the chicken now and everything and I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna add some milk and then let it cook for a little while longer. So I'm gonna do that now. Last year I thought about how things can I just added a little bit of cornstarch and water to the soup to thicken it up a little bit. I also added some milk, like whole milk. Um, I'm lactose intolerant, so I have lactose-free milk. Um, if I wasn't, I would probably use like heavy whipping cream. They do make um, the silk, like dairy-free heavy whipping cream, but they didn't have any at the grocery store near me. So I'm using the whole milk and then I'm thickening it up with um cornstarch and water like mixed together because that'll help thicken it up and then I might add some butter here in a little bit as well and then I added some more seasonings I added some more um of the chicken bouillon um pepper and onion powder garlic garlic powder 
once it gets a little bit thicker and it's towards the end i'll start tasting it again and see what else i need to add so that's gonna cook for a little while longer and my mom is on her way over now okay guys so all right guys so i'm making the dumplings now i just added um this i have this gluten-free um bisquick because i'm gluten intolerant um and i added some butter to it i think it was like about like a tablespoon and then i put some salt some parsley and a little bit of milk and i just kept adding milk until it was like about this consistency and then i'm taking um some of the biscuit mix i'm making them into little like balls like this and then just dropping them into the um into the pot guys so i made the chicken and dumplings it's done kind of i don't know the dumplings didn't turn out all the way right maybe i didn't wait long enough but i'm starving so i'm gonna eat it and it looks really good the finished product it looks so good sell this little bowl now this is what it's supposed to look like nice and thick and because it cooked longer the dumplings mm. It's so good. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here while my shirt's really dirty. But um the soup is really good. I am about to just sit down and watch a show that's not a kid show. Relax, hopefully, eat some Ben and Jerry's dairy-free cookie dough ice cream. <sighs> I have to vacuum, but Dylan's still sleeping because he works midnight, and right now it's it's almost six o'clock, so he doesn't have to leave until like I don't know, almost ten. So he's gonna be sleeping for a little bit. I need to vacuum the stairs. I need to vacuum upstairs. And yeah, I can't do that right now. So I'm just gonna sit down, I'm gonna relax. Hopefully Stella will just play and be calm because I just need to chill out for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for following me along. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite soup recipe is. I'm always looking for new soup recipes, so comment down below. Um, leave a link or something, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it.